No, she's not. Scarlet, come. Scarlet. Scarlet, come. Does that look like where he ran? Here she ran. Yeah, Scarlet. Scarlet's a little dumb, but she can pick up a trail. Hey, come on! Easy! Y'all are crazy! Easy! Get, go on, get out of my way. All right, they've been. Come on now! Hold on now, Clementine. Hold on. Hey, easy now, woman. All right. Easy, my goodness. Y'all looking good. Good to see you again. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for coming home. Y'all found a branch down over a fence and we're like, freedom! All right, I need you guys to work your way back into the into the uh, backyard. Um, push those last couple stragglers. Hey, go push those last couple stragglers through. I need uh, one person to stay here and r work the gate. I'll do the gate. No, we. I need Mary's help. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to go jump on the tractor, grab a bale, and start heading this way. They'll hopefully kind of follow me. But, Gage, you're working the gate, okay? Hey, get up that gate. So get on it. Close it for now. When they start coming, swing it back open, okay? Especially like your abs. Once upon a time. 
in a land far, far away, there was a young boy named Jack. Jack was very poor and didn't have a lot of money to spend on, to make sure his mom and siblings, sister and brother, had enough to eat. He was in the shop one, or in the market one day finding food to share with his family when he heard a myth about a jumpzilla. The jumpzilla was not anything like um, the Godzilla he had heard about in myths and stories. This jumpzilla was real. He went to go find it in the mountains, for if he found it and killed it, he would be rich and have enough money for his friends, family, and siblings. Once he got to the mountains, the jumpzilla was already waiting for him. Merritt, are you the jumpzilla? Yep. Okay. So the jumpzilla yeah. got the first ambush on little Jack. <laughs> little Jack got quick back up again, but the jumpzilla gave him another tough blow. <laughs> Jack was unconscious and couldn't get up. Jumpzilla dragged him to, with the, to go with the rest of the skeletons he had defeated long ago. <laughs> stage combat. The Jumpzilla was stage happy combat. doing flips and spins of all sorts to celebrate his victory. What he didn't know was the jump was the little Jack was only unconscious and woke up soon to fight the Jumpzilla. Stage er, Jack got the first blow, sending Jumpzilla down. Jumpzilla got back up quickly, but Gage was too fast. <laughs> that looked real. That looked really Jumpzilla good on camera. Jumpzilla fell over and did not get back up for the very last time. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Jack! Yay, Jumpzilla and Jack and narrator! Nice! One final blow for the mullet. So good. Okay, it's gonna rain. Let's go inside. Yeah, and everything. You guys are the best. Do I like your salad, Mary? Mary, I have a Libby marker. What's with the cross through? It was going so well until the cross through. Gage, now Gage. Oh. This is Look, some people have style, some people it? don't. Yeah, okay. sign it. He writes it. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually like a pretty signature move right there. <laughs> like autograph, cross my own autograph out. Oh. Merritt, you're the man. Oh, little Lou, you coming to say hi to your daddy? Yeah, Hello. Oh, yeah, thank you so much, Gage. Wait, hold on, Merritt, you need to sign this one. I have Where's the other marker? I have it. Autographs, you guys are right amazing. Right in your eyeball. Oh, and a cross sign. There you go, and like the Christian fish Asics sign. <laughs> it's uh, supposed to be. What is it? I love it. That's good. Can I have a hug? Uh -huh. Or a kiss? Oh my gosh. There you go. Lucy got hurt. Lucy got hurt by Scarlet. Yeah. Lulu. We're gonna put a big yelp. Oh hi. Then Lucy. Oh, one thing. Oh, okay no. now, did you get a limp? Yeah. Did you get Dad, a limp? You like it? Thank you, buddy. You guys are there amazing. Goes. And I get the pen? Yeah. Sure. Wow. Amazing. Okay, you now let's go. Alright. I, I turn around and Gage is over here. How old are you, Gage? Seven. You're seven, huh? Making himself a sandwich. And I'm not saying there aren't other seven-year-olds out there that make their own sandwiches, but there ought to be more of them. There ought to be more of them, right? Mm -hmm. a man, say a man ought to be able to make himself a sandwich, right? Mm -hmm. And a man ought to be able to wear his shirt backwards if he wants to, right? Mm -hmm. I agree. All right. Good job, Gager. <laughs>